You made a YouTube video in on the black man's Bible. Yeah, the Holy Pibby. What is that? Um, this was a proto-Rastafarian text by Robert Atheley Rogers, who was trying to, in the early turn of the century, the 1920s, pull black people away from traditional Christianity. So he wrote a Bible that he had hoped would give black people sort of a, an, a hint or an idea that we ought to manifest our own gods in our own image. Amazing. So how is it different from the regular Bible, the Christian Bible? Well, how would I would argue that what Rogers would say is, is that in the Christian Bible, we, um, it's not wholly dedicated towards black people, that black people needed their own theology. So what is it other than needing God and a family? What is it that, I mean, that's what everybody needs. Why is that different from any other need? What do they need? They need black people need a family when they're growing up. They need perfect parents to guide them in the right way to go. Sure. That's in the Christian Bible. That doesn't apply to black people. Well, sure it does. So why this man had to write a different black Bible? Well, the argument would be that black people were given Christianity through the slavery, and so do you believe that argument? Uh, well, of course. Really? And, yeah, absolutely. And so was that wrong to teach them about God through slavery? Um, I th don't necessarily think that it's wrong per se, but what we can infer is that black people were forced into the religion, and so, that was inherently wrong. Black so, people being stripped of their own personal religion and being forced what they, to become... What was that personal Oh, lot, lots of different religions. Indigenous religions, for example, Ifa would be a religion, is Islam... There, would be a religion. Well, Islam is an evil religion. Uh, I don't agree. You know? So if black people have another religion, why didn't that religion, and why is it that that religion is not working for them? Because either? white African people told school. black people, if you don't convert to Christianity, we will kill you. That's amazing. You really believe that? Oh, absolutely. Who told you? Who wrote this book? <laughs> what do you mean? Who wrote What's the name of the man that wrote this Bible? Who wrote this book? This is pretty fairly well common knowledge. Who wrote this Bible that you're talking about? Uh, Robert Athley Rog Rogers, the Holy Pibby. What's his name? Robert Athley Rogers. Where is Robert now? He's passed away. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, um, are you a Hebrew Israelite? No, I'm not. I'm a Rasta. What do you think about the Hebrew, black he Hebrew Israelite people? I think it's interesting that they've interpreted um, several thousand years of religion for their own personal uses. I don't have a problem with that. Do most black people think for themselves? Um, I would hope they would. But they don't, all right? Well, I think that we are all bombarded with information and it's hard for people to kind of pick and choose what they should believe in from day to day, right? Some sometimes things are foisted upon us that we don't even realize, right? But you do notice that most black people do not, they think like, they let other people think for them or they think in group, they say the same thing, they do the same thing, act the same way, and they hate the same people. Well, black people have a tendency to think in somewhat of a, we don't all think the same, but I'll, for example, I think where you're going with this is that most black people tend to be Democrats even though black people are inherently probably more conservative than white people. In so, what way are they conservative? Well, I think they are conservative in terms of uh, religion. Black people tend to be more religious than other groups in the United they, States. They do, you're right, they do sing about it, go to church, but their lifestyle say that they are not. Um, well, I don't know who would those people would be. Well, right? most black people hate white people. They blame I don't everybody else. That. They you want really believe that. Do you believe that most to... black people hate white people? Without a doubt. Do you really believe that? What, what do you think of Kanye West? I, I particularly like Kanye West's music, but I think that Kanye West has fallen off the wagon. I don't know what he's doing. And fallen off the wagon in what way? Well, yeah. I mean, his complete and total movement towards some form of strange Christianity, prosperity gospel, I think is abhorrent. abhorrent. So do you think... Is he real about it or is he acting? I, I don't know. I don't have any idea. I think that Kardashians ruin people, so I don't know. 
I would suggest that probably that has something to do with it. So <laughs> even though he is bringing other people to God, young people all over oh, the Oh, that, that definitely is a beautiful thing. But what his motives are, I have no idea. His motive is to bring them to God so they'll have well, better lives. Well, I, I, I think only Kanye could ask her. Would it, I'm not in a position to talk about another man's Do you doubt that that's what motives. he's doing, bringing people to God so they can have better lives? And I really him? don't know. I think that there's nothing in his background that, that would suggest that that would be the case. But who knows? Amazing. Maybe he's honest. Are you a conservative or liberal? I am inherently politically liberal, but I think in terms of my overall outlook, I'm fairly conservative. Real men are not liberals. How did that happen to you? <laughs> How did it happen to yeah. me? Oh, the beta male is a liberal. How did you become a liberal? How did I become a liberal? I think my parents are politically they were politically liberal and socially conservative. I know that your parents broke up, divorced when you were young. Yeah, so did you become like your mother? I, my political views are probably more like my father. Uh, he was conservative? He was socially conservative, but inherently politically liberal. Was he, oh, he was a liberal. Oh, I'm sorry. Politically yeah. a liberal. Uh, uh, you, my heart goes out to you. <laughs> he wouldn't agree. I am really sorry. Do you love the great white hope? Uh, in ter the Great White Hope, in, yes. in terms of the idea of a Great White Hope, like no, a s the real deal. Do you love the Great White Hope? Who is the Great White Hope? The president, President Donald Trump. <laughs> you got me on that one. Um, <laughs> I thought you were about to tell me some overweight boxer, right, who claims to be, who claims to be Irish, who gets knocked out in the first round, right, and. And as I hear from Nancy Pelosi today, that might exactly happen, right? That's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. Mama my word. They're dealing with a real man. They're dealing with a real deal. That's I, not going to happen. I don't say anybody who avoided the draft because they had bone spurs in their foot is a real man. Oh, so you would say Obama wasn't a real man? Uh, I would say that it's far better to um, not speak and have people think that you're an idiot than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. So would you I say don't know whether or not Barack Obama is a coward or not, but, I certainly, but I certainly think would that... Would you say that he's not a real um, man? You he do not say. have to go to, to the military to show your courage, but well, you certainly, that claiming that you have, certainly claiming that you have bone spurs so you don't have to go says a whole lot Are about you. Are you a socialist? Um, I have socialist leanings, yes. Meaning what? Uh, there are things about socialism that I do like. Like what? That people ought to have a right in and a say in the work that they do. What do you mean by that? That people ought to have a right. I don't know if uh, am I. Socialism is free stuff. People. No, socialism you. isn't about I giving anything free to anybody. People. I don't know where people get that about socialism. That's but what it is. There, there is no socialist country on this earth that you can just walk in and say, where's the free stuff? In America. <laughs> where? They, black people were getting free stuff for the last what, what, 70 years like or so. Like what free stuff? Everything. What free stuff? What is it that I don't action. pay in? So what affirmative it, action. Affirmative action is free stuff? Food stamps. We're free for them, but not for the working I, I class. Tell you, I'll give you a perfect example of affirmative action policy. It's called the Rooney Rule. You, do you know what the Rooney Rule is? Patrick Rooney? No. The Rooney Rule is, is that in professional football, if a professional team is getting ready to hire a new coach, they have to hire black people. Or not hire black people, they have to interview black people. At least one black candidate. That's not a good rule. The reason why they have that is because if they didn't have the Rooney Rule, teams would not interview any black people at all. That's not true. Really? So then why, why do they have the rule? Why do they have something they don't need? Because, um, yeah, show me something in the world are, that you have something you don't need besides your own. White people are the only afraid, thing that you have that white you, people are afraid to stand up to the black. The so only the thing black, that you have on this earth that you don't need is your appendix. Is um, free stuff good for the soul? It depends on what it is. So there's love. If it's free, that's really good for the soul. Amazing. Do you um, believe that black people should receive reparations? Yes. You know, why they didn't earn it, why should they receive it? I think working on those plantations for 400 years is... None of them earned, worked on a plantation. Earned, ...earned enough. What do you mean? None of them worked on a plantation. I didn't particularly work on a None plantation, but I had ancestors who did. None of the blacks who were begging I've for I've had ancestors who did. And how much should they get? That, I have no idea. Amazing. I don't know, but we can determine a reasonable amount. Let's do this. Let's. Would you be in support of... 
endowing black colleges to the level of, say, Harvard? No, they've already overdone it, done it with the black schools. They've done it? Say, You're saying they've done it with you, the black schools? Let me, they were giving them too much. I noticed <laughs> that black people who graduated from black colleges yes. don't donate to those colleges. They do not. And, and why is that? Um, black people are not taught at black universities and colleges the need to give back. So why don't you people make the blacks give back? We, I've been trying to do that at my own university. Mm -hmm.